Okay, sports fans, if you have been watching these Talk Sporty 101 videos, you know that I have given you a number of different ways to become a sports fan and kind of meet sports wherever you are. Now that that sports fandom is growing, we need to talk about what happens when you develop a passion for a certain player or team and then feel the sting of disappointment or frustration when that player or team does not live up to expectations. Just like I can't tell you how to be a fan, I can't tell you how to be a disappointed or frustrated fan, but I can tell you that there is a line that gets crossed between passionate fandom, bullying, and just being a jerk. And I have seen it all. 20 years in sports broadcasting will do that to you, plus my own fandom for years before that. I know what it feels like, but I also know that you have a choice in how you react. And I don't care what people say, you're not a different person at a stadium or an arena or an event than you are at work. This is all part of your personal brand. It is why you need to be very intentional with the messages that you communicate. So when you get frustrated, here are three things that you can do. Number one, turn off the game. It's my job to watch the game, not yours. If you are a glutton for punishment and you love the misery that comes with it, then by all means, stick with it until the end. But if it is causing angst, turn off the game. You don't have to watch every single second. Number two, pick a different team. This does not mean that you are the bandwagon fan that just jumps from team to team, or maybe it does, that could be your own fandom. But if your team is causing you tremendous amounts of frustration to the point that you are becoming a jerk and a bully, how about if you find a different team to root for, for now? You can still have your favorite team, you can still have the team that you started with, but you don't have to put yourself through that every single night. And lastly, yell. Go to a game. It is a place where you are not only expected to cheer and yell, but really if you don't, what are you doing there? Like this is the best way to get your emotions out. Yell as loud as you can, just not at anyone. That makes you a jerk and in some cases a bully. Sports fandom is supposed to be entertainment and fun. It is supposed to bring people together. It is not supposed to be something that causes divisiveness and fights. So. When you think about your fandom, I want you to think about how you are going to behave as a frustrated fan. Because trust me, if you stick around sports long enough, it is bound to happen. If you would like more ways to make sports work for you, or if you've missed any of these videos, make sure that you check them out on YouTube and see everything that there is to offer on the website, talksportytome.com.